evening again. The regular education teacher of the year is Karen Keniston. And Karen, you don't know this, but we had a speaker this afternoon who talked about leadership in special education and how special education should um, prepare kids to be included in and help kids to be included in the general curriculum. And so you're going to think that I went back to the room between this afternoon and tonight and wrote this based on what this woman had to say this afternoon. And I assure you that everything I'm going to say came out of the recommendations that people wrote for Karen. So um, it's, it's, it was just real, very interesting when I read over it. Karen teaches an RSU, our RSU 24-year-old program and also in an early childhood inclusive classroom for three to five-year-olds that is housed in one of my elementary schools. Karen is the best preschool level teacher I have ever met. She has a BS in elementary education, but she has hundreds of hours in early literacy and child development with programs like High Scope and OWLS and an early reading first grant that we were fortunate enough to have in Waldo County for several years. She's a very strong teacher leader <clears throat> with immense expertise in early childhood education and in including children with disabilities with their typically developing peers. She is gifted at individualizing. Universal design is second nature to Karen. That's the first thing you'll recognize from this afternoon. She believes and proves that every child, no matter how challenged, can be included in the regular education setting. In the past couple of years, she's had autistic children, children who are too fed, children with severe seizure conditions, behavior impaired children, a hearing impaired child, children with cognitive impairments. Name the disability, Karen has included them in her four-year-old program. She communicates with parents and translates the jargon that we use so readily to them and helps them to feel at ease. And she always does it in a calm, supporting, humorous manner. She collaborates well with consultants and therapists, and there's a parade of them in and out of her classroom all the time. She supervises several paraprofessionals with superb leadership in modeling for them and mentoring them. She provides a high quality tapestry of instruction and interventions, which few can emulate. She sets the bar for teachers in our school and in our region. If Karen can include them, then everybody else, that bar has been set and they, they know what they have to do after that. One of the parents made this comment when she wrote the recommendation for Karen. I am impressed with her ability to create and modify lessons that allow him access to the general curriculum. She is an exceptional teacher. So Karen, come on down. on behalf of my entire staff of my preschool program. I have an absolutely amazing staff, and I wouldn't be able to provide the program that I do without them. When I was told that I had to say a few words tonight, first I lost four nights sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sharon said, just tell them all why you like your job. Okay, well, I love my job. I knew from the age of five that I wanted to be a teacher, and I never wavered from that decision. Teaching is in my blood. My grandmother taught in a one-room schoolhouse. My dad just retired after teaching high school biology for 40 years. My mom is an ed tech in Searsport where I work. My brother and his wife are both middle school teachers. My uncle just announced his retirement where he was a first grade teacher in Searsport. And my aunt is the kindergarten teacher in the classroom right beside mine. <laughs> She's been a great inspiration to me. And she's sitting right there. I'm in her classroom every day, borrowing something, supplies, books, asking advice, or just chatting about our day. 
I was offered this preschool position when I graduated from college here at the University of Maine. I accepted the job with the idea in my head that I would work here for a year or two until something better came along. I worked here 17 years. There is nothing better. I started out teaching a nursery school with typically developing children, and that quickly turned into an inclusive program, now with a 50% special needs population. I remember how terrified I was working with children with special needs in my early years. I didn't think I knew what to do. But with the help of my great staff and the incredible therapists, we all learn together. We learn to see the potential in each child, not the problem. We see the opportunity to enrich each child's life. And it's not about what the child can't do, but what they can do and what we can help them learn to do. I received a great education here and learned many important things. But most of what I learned about teaching, I learned from my special little friends. And here are some of the things that they taught me. We are all special in our own way. We all learn differently, and we all have something valuable to teach each other. Take time to sing and dance every day. Everyone deserves an opportunity to learn, and everyone needs a turn. Snack time is a great time to all sit down together, share some food, and to chat about our day. Stories are great to hear, but even better if you can act them out. You be patient with me, and I'll be patient with you. Play every day. Everything in life is more fun if you have a friend to share it with. Red is always red, and blue is always blue, but it's really cool when you get the chance to mix them together to see what happens. Don't cry over spilled milk or spilled paint, or spilled glitter, or spilled sand. <laughs> Cleaning it up is a great learning experience, and it can be lots of fun, too. And a smile, a pat on the back, a thumbs up, and a hug can all be understood in many different languages. Thank you very much. why she's the regular ed teacher of the year. <laughs>